Okay, so in this video, we want to find the volume of a pyramid whose base is a rectangle with sides A and B, and whose height is given by H. The idea is quite simple. Imagine if we take an infinitesimal horizontal slice of the pyramid. So a very, very thin slice of our pyramid. So imagine this is a block of cheese, and we cut through just a really thin slice out of it. Then what we have is now a remarkably simple solid, a small rectangular prism. Let me reproduce it underneath here. And if we can find the volume of such an arbitrary infinitesimal horizontal slice of the pyramid, then by summing up the volume of all of these little slices, we will obtain the volume of the entire pyramid. So we need three fundamental measurements. The length of this side of the prism, the length of this side, and the thickness of the prism. Well, how do we find these measurements for a generic thin slice of the pyramid? Well, the idea is now to imagine that we are cutting through right down the middle of the pyramid in perpendicular to its base. So if you split the pyramid into two equal parts and we look at the interior face of the pyramid and we superimpose this in the xy plane right in the middle where the y-axis goes through the middle of the pyramid. And what we have of course is a triangle. And so again, this is the result of cutting through the pyramid right down the middle in half in a perpendicular fashion with respect to its base. And if we look at the interior face, then we get quite simply a triangle. And what are its measurements? Well, the height of the triangle, of course, is the height of the pyramid. So the y value here is h. Well, the base, if we cut through again this fashion, the base, the whole length of the triangle is a. But since our rectangle is centered about the y-axis, the total length being a, therefore this end point must be a over 2. And this, of course, is negative a over 2. And our rectangular prism, of course, is seen as simply a little rectangle. And let me draw. I was going to say half of it, but I'll draw the whole thing. And we will, of course, need the length of this side. If we draw down, this is the x value that we are looking for. And of course, this is negative x. So ultimately, what we want is the length of this side. Therefore, not simply x, but twice of x. Well, let's start with the easy part. If you look, the thickness of the prism is an infinitesimal change along the y-axis. Therefore, the thickness, of course, is given by dy. So we have the thickness of our little prism. What about the length of this side? Well, the idea is to look here at similar triangles. But first, we have to ask, what is the position of our rectangle along the y-axis? Well, what we have here is a generic horizontal slice of the pyramid. So we have a generic rectangle, therefore positioned along the y-axis at an arbitrary y-value. So let me extend it over here. The rectangle is at a height that
that is an arbitrary y value, therefore given simply by y. So the length of this segment here is y. And now we can use similar triangles. We have a small triangle here, and we have a larger similar triangle here. Of course, they are similar because they share a common angle. So we can use the fact that with similar triangles, ratio of corresponding sides are equal. So let's take the length of this side. Again, x minus minus x is 2x. So 2x, the length of the base of the smaller triangle, over the length of the base of the larger triangle, which of course is this minus this, which is, of course, simply 8. So the base of the small triangle over the base of the larger triangle will equal now a different ratio of corresponding sides. Let's now look at the height of the smaller triangle and the height of the larger triangle. Well, the smaller triangle, this value here of course is y, and if the total height is h, what's left here of course is h minus y, and this is the height of the smaller triangle, of course over the height of the larger triangle, which is simply h. We can simplify here a little bit, dividing through by h, and we're left with, quite simply, 1 minus y over h. And again, we want the length of a side of our arbitrary infinitesimal slice. This is, of course, as we've said, x minus minus x, 2x. So we simply want to isolate 2x. This is quite simply done by multiplying by 8. So 2x, the length of this side of this generic horizontal slice of the, the pyramid is given by a times 1 minus y over h. And so we have the length of this side. So we're halfway done. We need simply now have to find the length of the other side of this small rectangular prism. But if you think about this, we already found it. To find the length of this side, we took a vertical slice of the pyramid this way, so cutting through parallel to this side. But if we cut through now, not this way, but this way, so now cutting through down the center of the pyramid, but now being parallel to B, we get the exact same picture. The only difference is that instead of having endpoints of a over 2 and negative a over 2, they are b over 2 and negative b over 2. So the length of this side, of course, is the same as the length of this side. The argument is a copy-paste, but replacing a by b. And now we can, of course, easily obtain the volume of our little rectangular prism. The area of the surface this side times this side times the thickness of the prism dy. But if you multiply this by this, well, let me pair up a and b. And you're left with 1 minus y over h times itself. Therefore, 1 minus y over h squared. This, again, is the area of the surface of the prism times its thickness dy. And now we're almost done, right? We have the volume of an infinitesimal arbitrary horizontal slice of our pyramid. Well, to obtain the total volume of the pyramid, we have to sum the volume of all of these little horizontal slices. Summing, of course, is integrating from where to where. Well, if we look at the pyramid in the xy plane, well, the horizontal slices start where y is 0, at the very bottom of the pyramid, and they go all the way up to the end point of the pyramid, the tip, where y is equal to h. So if you sum the volume of all of these infinitesimal horizontal slices of the pyramid, you obtain, of course, its total volume. And now we simply have to evaluate this definite integral. 
Well, first step, a, b are constants. We can factor them out of the integral. And we can't integrate this until we square it. We expand it. So if you square 1 minus y over h, you, of course, with the cross terms, get 1 minus y over h minus y over h. So minus 2y over h, or if you prefer, 2 over h y. And then plus, well, if you square this, negative y over h times itself is y squared over h squared. And I'll factor the 1 over h squared. And it will become clear why I factored the 2 over h from the y and the 1 over h squared from the y squared, because we integrate with respect to y. So h is a constant, so 2 over h and 1 over h squared are nothing but constant multiples of y and y squared. So when we integrate, just as a and b, they simply tag along for the ride. So our antiderivative with respect to y will be y minus, well, if you integrate y, you get y squared over 2. So the 2's cancel, so you're left with y squared over h. Or if you prefer, 1 over h times y squared. You get here y cubed over 3. Or if you prefer, the 3 pairing up with the h squared, 3h squared y cubed. And we must, of course, evaluate from 0 to h. And this will be surprisingly simple. So the first antiderivative at h, replacing y by h. So we get h minus h squared over h is simply h. So these two, of course, simply cancel. And here y replaced by h, h cubed over h squared is simply h over 3. And then we do the antiderivative, so we'd subtract the antiderivative when y is 0. But if you replace y by 0, of course the whole thing is 0. So all we have is the antiderivative at h. And now, of course, we're done. We're left with quite simply abh over 3. And this is the volume of an arbitrary pyramid where the base is rectangular with sides a and b and whose height is h. And it is a remarkably elegant solution and a remarkably simple result. a, b, h over 3. And that's it.